What's good, YouTube? Before the video gets started, I'd like to talk to you about products I have on sale. Uh, they're not my products, but they are for sale, and it helps the group that I'm in, Paranormal Shadow Seekers. Uh, you witnessed earlier my videos I had on ghost hunting, so they go ahead and told me I can join them. So to help these guys out, I want to sell some products. Paranormal Shadow Seeking shirts and sweatshirts. you got to let me know what you want. Um, but there is more to all this. If you buy these shirts, it helps us make videos. And for us to make videos, we can show you behind the scenes, we can show you how it's set up, and that usually because other ghost hunting don't do this. Do this. So I want to help you guys understand how all this works. And if you buy these products, I'm going to add your name to a list, and you end up getting free stuff from me. I love giving stuff out, so it's free stuff. Mugs, anything. It's just gonna, I'm just going to ship it. Okay, and it's amazing stuff. This product is awesome. I love the design. It's custom made. So please let us know what size you want. And please buy our product so we can help the team. Okay, and the biggest news is you buy this product with the list that I have. We, we want to expand, you know, clear across the whole country we're in. So, eventually we're going to do a giveaway where you guys can come with us on a ghost hunt. Free of charge, nothing, you know, no, no gimmicks here. We want to take you with us. We love this stuff. So, please buy our products and help us. Here's the design. A little closer up. Buy this product. Like I said, this is a t-shirt. Okay, this is an extra large. However, I will be making sweatshirts. So, let me know. In the email, what you want. Enjoy the video. I hear it playing. Drones are prohibited in this area. Fancy. No drones. So you build another room for me. His wife died. Yeah. Of course, after and after she was she she had died, that means they were evicted to the house for inspection. Fancy. Guys, don't worry. Caution, mowing in progress. Where? I don't see it. Do what? Audio tour. All this technology in it. As I'm fucking around with a camcorder, huh, babe? Huh, babe? Huh? That lady from the ring comes out of that well. <laughs> we're, we're leaving. So we're finally at the mansion after 20 years of walking. I see this big door. I'll we'll have to go around. Well, yeah. I just wanted to show YouTube the Two doors, another, another airplane. Got a wishing well there. Oh. People come out of the the well to come to the house. That's pretty cool, I guess. Looks like a Mexican style house. Yeah. 
They even had a visitor center here. We're about to visit. <laughs> How fancy of a house it was. Visitor center. We're inside the house. It's beautiful. It's so huge. <laughs> That's what she said. Anyway. So, the hardwood floor we're working, or walking on is um, all Gatlin and all the carpeted is when the 20th, 20th century, he said, people moved in here. But it's sitting on 376 acres? 376 some acres. So it's pretty amazing. There's the man himself. And this is how they built it back in the day. That's a lot of wood. That's a lot of wood. Yeah, you could. So we're on the carpet now. Look, you can get a little pamphlet. I'm gonna take one. So he was a whiskey drinker, right? I don't know what that sound is, YouTube, but I'm sorry. Must be a fan or something back there. Frame house. Come babe. What's wrong? You don't have to get out of the way of the camera. This is Hannah's China. It's really pretty. Whoa, there's Hannah herself. Yeah. Servants. So everyone back in these days always had servants. Yeah, mainly I should say all the rich did, yes. But if you guys remember Haldeman, um, if you guys watch my other vlogs from Haldeman Mansion, hmm. they also had servants. So I'm just assuming back in the 1700s, that anyone with decent amount of money yeah. had servants. What? So. Yeah, the stone kitchen.
They did this so they, I think they made all their kitchens out of stone. And there's the flag that they're talking about. Another little staircase. So it's loud in this room, and I'm sorry, I don't know. I think it's air conditioning. Which it didn't have that back then. <laughs> Obviously. But here's some of his yard, I guess. I wouldn't mind living in a place like this. For lands speculation. And this is the brick house apparently. Built in seventeen eighty nine. Do you see there? More staircases. Looks like the Titanic. And this is where they watched their big screen TVs at <laughs> yeah. back in 1700s. And I guess we hit a. I guess we hit a dead end. There's a little fireplace there. Yeah, this is a carpeted area, so this was definitely the newer area. They didn't have, and now we're about to go upstairs. There's my daddy. That's my daddy. Yeah, I think that's all closed to the public. Library. Those are the public. Porch is closed because they don't want people jumping off, I guess. It's secured an alarm just like it was in the 1700s. <laughs> Storage area. Live load shall not exceed 50 pounds per square foot. Brick house bedroom. Yeah, like I said in the Holdeman vlog, all these old houses we visit always has a about every fireplace in every room. That's the only way of heat they had. Where's my bed? So everyone's jump on one section. That's not going in the video. Your butt's in the video. Staircase? It's that place. Well, I'm done. I'm not even going to talk. Pretty much. <laughs> and it dips. Holy it dips really bad. Holy moly. It's warm in here now. Yeah, oh, wow. Cold. Now that's a view to see. Hey, look, and the windmill's in the background. Well, I bet you he'd be proud now. <laughs> you actually might like the windmills. You might like it just because of the. He likes money. True. It's like, well, I can get on here. I got 376 acres. Put him on my yeah. land. Push him on my land. Boy, it is warm in here. Heat rises, I guess. Another uh, 
fireplace in another room. Still no use that place was. Uh, wouldn't you wouldn't you want to live here? So I had to stop to take a couple photos. But this is insane because we can't even we can't even go upstairs. But there's another set of stairs. And we're up here on the second second floor. It's a long way down there. It's not Yeah. You get, just like he said. We're up here yet, and this is still high roof. But I mean, even even their porches, like that's amazing. That's a long porch. Just imagine how much money you had to have to even build this place. Like, well, he was secretary of treasury. I mean, he had money, especially for back then. So it's like, yeah, and uh, there's a vintage 1700 security camera. That was a, a nine, or a 1783 model. Yum, yum. I wonder if there's still stuff in there. All original. But I think we're going to go ahead and walk around some more and I'll, uh, I'll show you around some more. I'm going to take some more photos. So Sorry I didn't warn you the first time. Peace. So we came down to the basement. I guess this is where all the, uh, the bathrooms are. But as you see, this is how they made the floors. They go ahead and ripped it apart so they could show us. But I think we're going to go outside now. I'm not sure. See you out there. Welcome. This is MTV Cribs. This is my crib. Very fancy. I only make about a million dollars a second, so it's whatever, you know. But we're out here in the yard. And I bought this fancy book, so now I can actually stamp where I want to go. And where you've been. And where I've been, I should say. I visited a lot of national parks and never even knew that you could stamp things. I think that's cool. So I'm going to do it. But welcome to my crib. Kidding. Mr. Gallatin's crib. But I want to show you guys something. This is his yard. He, like I said, he owns 370 some acres. And we're about to go. Uh, we're about to go visit some Sophia's grave. But this is a very nice house. We're gonna go vlogging. There, guys, someone running. Look at <laughs> Hey, there's Phil. Phil, go home, you're drunk. There's the little Phil. So I guess if he didn't want to be bothered with, he could have just put cannons on this hill and just wait until yeah. people started running down that road and just start blasting them. He had money. He was the, uh, what was it? Treasurer. Secretary of Treasury. But he has a really nice yard. Like, he could play football here. He probably had servants, like, oh, I know that. Well, he had servants in his kitchen, so I imagine he had a lot of... And you can see kind of in there, in them windows there. I don't know if you can see it on the video. Sorry, it's a little shaky because I'm zoomed in so far. We wasn't allowed up there for some reason. We must be remodeling or something, but we're gonna we're gonna visit Sophia's grave. 
We're gonna get we're gonna get a selfie with Sophia. <laughs> Who was Sophia? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I I didn't know if it was one of the kids that died young or Okay, note to self. Don't name your kid Sophia. <laughs> well, I mean, you think 376 some acres. I mean, there's bound to be There's bound to be a lot of fucking trails. Ooh. So this vlog is going to be really boring walking through that grass about a mile long, but I guess this is her grave or is it? Yeah, I don't know. Are we walking on her? We will be. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, we are here. Her grave's up here. It's that way. It, yeah, you take, you take the trail. Yep. The dogs might want to. Got some bones. We should have That's went to that. messed up. We should have went to that thing first. Huh? What thing? What thing? Where they were standing at. They were looking down there. Oh, the gazebo. Oh, the gazebo. We have to come back anyway. Yeah, we have probably have to come back up that way. Well, it's probably going to turn around. There's, it's probably short where we're at here. Well, right here. Okay. Right here yeah, where it says, you are here. <laughs> <laughs> In her grave by now. Sophia Ward. Mongahela River. So he went to this place next to the river because he thought it was going to be a good business. Here come some hound doggies. <laughs> Looks like a dingo. So we just actually went through Sophia's. It's an unmarked place, so it wasn't nothing to really to see. For some reason, there's a giant pond here. We're gonna take a picture of it. This is a pretty big place. The whole uh, Sophia's grave was weird because it's unmarked, so you don't really know where she is. She could be with us right now. You never know. But we're gonna go ahead and take a picture. Well, YouTube, we uh. <laughs> we made it back on a hike. I did not want to take any uh, videos because that was a long hike. Whew. This is a long road. We're all dead. We're all dead. Yep. But it was supposed to be like a what? Two mile hike? And it felt like five. So. I think all in all it was like a little over three, wasn't it? Yeah. Or two. I was not going to carry my camera the whole time like that. That's too long of a hike. About two miles. Yeah, two and a half miles probably. We're on our way to find this restaurant. We have no idea where we're going. At least I have no idea where we're going. My dad, he semi knows where he's going. He says he knows where he's going. But we all know that's false. Because he gets lost a lot. But, fun fact of the day. Uh, the company I work for, Keystone, actually hauls to this place we were just at and I think it's isn't that how you found it? Yeah that's how I found it. I already knew nothing about it. And uh anyway there's two doggies. I um ended up buying this book Collector's Edition Passport so I'll take you guys on more adventures with me if you want to tag along. And uh we're going to trying to find this place called Danny's Danny's or something. Danny's. So it's like the the uh, off version of Denny's. But uh, my woman over here, she's really happy that she's along. She's just very ecstatic because we're going to Danny's. Look how happy she is. She's not even paying attention, but it's cool. She's in a mood today. I heard my Pokemon go off, so I gotta go. You guys have fun. Welcome, YouTube. Back to the second part of my vlog. 
Just sitting here eating at this place called Vinny's. It's like a little, I don't know, diner type place. A lot of food. Vinny's is like a, I don't know, what would you call this? Like a side diner or something. Yeah. It's literally just a little, little building. Yeah, it's like a drive-in, I guess you call it. But the food here is absolutely incredible. That's called a heart attack. <laughs> like, that is massive. And then they give you, that's a small fry. Right there. Small fry. That's insane. Very good milkshake. That's where we stop to eat. Yum. Yum. Well, you two, we, uh, we survived fin Vinny's food, yeah. as now I'm going to slip into a food coma. That was a lot of food. And my stomach hurts. And there went my phone. But it's okay. She's pretending not to look at the camera because she don't like being on the camera. Look at her. You know, you're going to tell my English mom. And she didn't even finish all her food. We still got food left. That's a lot of food. But, overall, it was worth it. What do you think? It was worth it? Yeah. I think it was. It was delicious. And we're headed, I guess, home? So this is the end of uh, the Albert Gilbert home vlog. See you next time.